One instrument of manipulation in contemporary society is ICT, Information and Communications Technology. It has so many aspects. When you open a new moon, you check, may go along this pain, then add data. Then you call up a ego gadaga, now a new post, now circulate, now share. Spending money, believing stories you have never checked. That is manipulation. Ota, watajiri babu dene, bo kenye kweriye. Some of the decisions we are arriving at, we are first decided by people who have other interests. May the death of Christ on the cross wake you up to stand for your convictions and for your truth, for your beliefs. Don't allow yourself to be manipulated by the Sanhedrin. To be more particular, those same manipulators have come again now in Nigeria talking about ethnic divisions, talking about religious divisions, so that there will be crisis, so that there will be destruction, so that there may even be a war, and those of them who sell arms will import arms, those of them who, cling, who are in power will cling to power. And let me ask you a question. Many of the shops in Lagos where Igbo people are trading are owned by Yoruba people and rented to them by Yoruba people. Many of the houses they are living in are owned by Yoruba people and rented to Igbo people by Yoruba people. And they don't have problems. They don't have problems with rent. They don't have problems with their relationship. How do you think that those same people or their children will rise up one day and go and set those shops on fire? Manipulation. I want to say here before God that Nigeria has never ever been divided according to ethnic or religious lines. Never and never will it be. But it has always been divided according to the rich and powerful and the poor and oppressed. And those rich and powerful are manipulating the poor and oppressed to keep destroying one another so that they remain in power. You must say no to this. Our problem is not religion, whether Islam or Christian or traditional religion. Our problem is not ethnic group, whether a Jo or a Sekiri or a Fik or a Bibio or a Igbo or Hausa Fulani or Yoruba or a Do. That is not our problem. It is our wealth. The division of Nigeria is between the rich and the poor, the powerful and the oppressed. Those same people. When you were queuing in banks and stripping yourselves naked to get 1,000 naira to feed your families, they had hundreds of millions of the new notes in their houses. And now they want you to go and fight. Say no. Christ, with his death, divided the curtain, tore the curtain that separates us in order that we may be united against evil. Let nobody in the south or in the north, in the east or in the west, in the southeast or southwest or northeast or northwest ever think that by attacking his fellow Nigerian, destroying his fellow Nigerian, Working against his fellow Nigerian or fellow human being, he will be advancing the cause of his ethnic group or his religion. He will only be doing the bidding of the powerful and the rich. Pilate, 
you are guilty, you are not innocent. But those who stayed in the background and manipulated you are more guilty. All of us adults are guilty of the decisions we take. We are responsible for those decisions. But we should be careful that there are manipulators behind.